Look at this bitch. It's all over the place. So, uh... I'm going to snap his head off. Probably... There. And then I'm going to pull off the leaves. Because that will grow a new plant. Get a little stick. Stab a little hole. And I'm going to shove him back in here. In fact, I might make it a little bit shorter. A little bit bent. So yeah, I'm just going to shove him back in there. And he'll be a bit better. Because right now, it's just trash. I think then, I'm going to cut him probably here. Mm, maybe here. See what that looks like first. And see what comes out the top. So, yeah. This one... Probably gonna pull off a few more leaves. And I'm not sure how this one will go, but I'm gonna give it a try and shove him in here as well. Because why not? I think it will. So it looks better already. Poke the muck around it a little bit. And I've got a few leaves in here already that have fell off and just started to grow anyhow. So um, I might just poke one leaf in there. And maybe, oh, there was already one. No. I'll put one leaf in here. And then hopefully, before you know it, it'll be a decent looking plant again but yeah if it's a succulent generally violence is best if you don't like it and you think it's a bit lanky chop its head off I'll give it I don't know maybe Probably like a couple of months and it will look completely different. But you're going to have to wait and subscribe if you want to see that. But already that looks better than it did. Hopefully some new bits will come out the top here, I think. There you go. I've got this one as well while I'm at it. I think it's called a Aeonium Sunrise or something. You see the pinkiness to it. But again, lanky. Why? I don't know. Because he's in full sun in the window. So I'm going to have him and all. Probably. Here, I think. And then hopefully a bunch of heads will come out the top here. So I'm going to leave him like that. And then he's going more to the side. So I'm going to maybe stick the other one straight back in here, I think. Dig a little hole on my stabby stick. And then I'm going to pull these off. Because it's the right time of year. Like I did it a little bit too early in the year. Last time. And they didn't work. But I think if I pull some of these off now. And just leave them sitting on the top of some dirt. That should all turn into new plants. 
tweak it a bit more. I think that's about right. And then just stuff it back in again. And then hopefully it will be a fuller plant again before you know it. I'll just poke the muck around its base again. But don't be scared to be violent. That's how it is now. We'll see him in a couple of months and he'll be awesome, I tell you. Wait, see. Okay, so I've got this other one, Baby's Toes. I couldn't believe it when I found out the name of it. He's a little bit lanky, again, like the rest of them. So, I'm just gonna cut bits off and stick them back in. It almost looks like some of it's dying at the bottom as well, so it's just good to give it a little refresh. Before they end up dying on their own, just cut them off, just poke an old, stab them back in again. I don't know if he likes living there though. Maybe he did get a little bit too much sun in that window, I don't know. Because he just looks a bit crap. So, but these ones. This one here, and this one here, and this one here. They're ones that I did previously. Like, took them off and stabbed them back in. And they're doing great. So, we're just going to give this one a full-on makeover from the looks of it. Because it looks shit. So, the rest... Oh, that one, I stabbed that one in as well. He's looking okay. Yes, I'm going to put one here, well my Sainsbury's shopping just came so back to it again, just going to poke a hole and stick them back in like you do with everything else. And then I'm going to finish putting my shopping away. This is really dry actually, so I probably did let it get a little bit too much. It's been so hot. Baby's toes though, what a name. And snapped. That one looks crippled. Broken toes. <gasps> Just snapped another one on my finger. Oh well. Anything that breaks on a succulent generally, you can usually stuff it back in. And it should be okay. Fungus snap just to uh, make the day better. Random toe. Toe. 
This one looks well shriveled, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Just shove them in, give them a drink. Sorted. Another weird one. And then when you've shoved it all back in, it just looks so much better with most succulents. If you chop them off and shove them back in, they just always look better. It's weird. But cool. Well, there you go. It looks better already. So I'll give him a drink. Last of all, I've got a little tray of soil. I'm just going to pop these off that whole one on the top. And stick them in the other room until they do something. I think that one's done. More plants. I really should get rid of some, but I, I can't. I just want to keep them all. So next, I've had this monkey tail cactus rooting for ages. And he's about right now. So I think it will look better in a bowl hanging. So I'm going to try and get him out of here without being stabbed. Generally, if you stroke them just right, they don't hurt you, but <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what's going on. I don't know quite what I'm going to do. Give them a little squish and see how much root they have. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see it loosening up. Okay, so. You've got to gently put your hand on it and just pull away from the base. Okay, 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 yeah. So he's loose. I know how big it is. So I'm going to mostly fill it. <coughs> and then lay it in. I want to try and make it so it's pointing in two directions a bit. Just separate them. They seem to have made friends. I'm going to make them slightly angry now. really are good friends. They don't want to let go. That's so weird. Anyway, that, that'll do. They're not letting go. So I'm gonna just put them like that. That'll look way better. So not too far that they'll fall. So they can like, they're holding their weight with about an inch of body. And then I'll just fill it back in. <clears throat> and I just think this will look better. God, I'm terrified of it having me though. Like it never has, but I've heard they can. It's still a cactus. Just got to respect the cactus. And I think 
but I'll generally do. Yep, I'll just give it a drink and um, make it a little hangy thing. Husband is making the shed outside still. Three months and it's still going. So yeah, that's him. Then I'm doing a jungle cactus. I'll just go get it. So, track this beast out. He's massive. It's flying. But he's not in a spot where he's at his like shown to his best so I'm gonna put him in here make him a hangy thing and they're gonna live their best life in the bedroom so I've just gotta try and get him out give him a little squeeze again I don't know what his roots are like I don't think it was that long ago I repotted him. So they were all in one pot. He's ready for a drink as well. But I'm generally just hoping I can just transplant it from this pot to the next one. Oh, I'm scared I'm gonna crack him. Just gotta get him just right. What's going on? Oh my god. It's quite dry. I probably should have watered him first. I've lost part of him. This is the smallest piece. I'll put him in at the end. in first and let's see mm, a bit less sprawling both sides again. So I think that'll probably do. Sort of like that. Just so it's going in a few directions. It's massive though. I might have to take a few cuttings off it. weigh it down enough so that he won't come out of the pot. He's a beast. But yeah, I might chop some of it off and stuff it back in. Then it'll look even better. growing at the end. I'll rip it off and put it on the other side. I don't know. But yeah, literally, so far I've just gone snip, cut whichever bit off I want, and then it just grows. So you just get one of these. And then stuff it back in. So I'm going to show him on this side where it's a bit bald. I 
I'm just giving a bit more to drink for a while until he's bedded in. Not sure whether to take any more off. That might be good enough for now. And then I'll put this little piece back in the centre. It's not really done out, but maybe you will one day. I'll top him up a bit more. Next, I need to make some string to hang on from. But yeah, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? Just give him a little drink. That's time to pot it up. It's only a matter of time before I end up getting one in the eyeball. Probably shouldn't have put it just there, but looks great. 